This is a coca leaf. It's the main ingredient for cocaine. The process that takes to convert this into the white powder that sells for thousands of dollars in the cities of the world is very, very damaging to the environment. I traveled to Bolivia to see the environmental destruction that is a byproduct of the $85 billion a year cocaine trade. We just flew into Cochabamba, Bolivia. And we're heading now, we're driving to a Chapare region. This region is where a lot of the coca leaf is grown, both legal and illegal. It also has this reputation where a lot of cocaine is produced. In the 70s, so much cocaine was produced here that locals tell stories about how you could buy it by the fistful on the streets. Today, the production and distribution is much more covert. Wherever you plant coca, the first thing you have to do is deforest it. You have to cut all the trees and everything. And that already offsets the balance of the environment in that place. With the rains we have, the rains are going to start eroding the soil and destroying it as well. The United Nations Office on Drug and Crime estimates that producing one gram of cocaine can destroy four square meters of forest, pollute 20 liters of water, and produce 60 kilograms of waste. Coca leaf cultivation has resulted in deforestation throughout the region, but that is just the first step in the process of making cocaine. I wanted to see what happens next, so I traveled with Umopar, Bolivia's anti-narcotic agency, to a cocaine lab they recently busted in a remote jungle location. We, we have to wait here for a while because they're just securing the perimeter. Many, many times when they come back to these labs, they found armed people and they get into a gunfight. So they're just making sure we're going to be safe. The smell is very powerful. So we've been driving for, I don't know, 10 hours. We've been walking for about half an hour into this middle of nowhere, very pristine, beautiful jungle. And then you walk into this, you see this destruction. And it's just, reality hits you. This is what cocaine means. So recent, they were cooking some pasta, and you can still see it there. A variety of toxic chemicals are used to extract the cocaine alkaloids from the coca leaf, such as kerosene, sulfuric acid, ammonium hydroxide, sulfur dioxide, and potassium permanganate. After these chemicals are used, they are discarded into the environment where they leach into the soil and eventually affect the groundwater. We headed to another recently busted lab where they manufacture cocaine paste the first step in refining the coca leaf. So we finally arrived to what they call a coca paste factory, which is not really a factory, it's just a clear in the woods where they mix coca leaves with gasoline and sulfuric acid to create this coca paste, which is the raw material to produce cocaine. Before the authorities leave, they burn all the remaining chemicals and production equipment to ensure that it cannot be reused by anyone returning to the site. It wasn't until cocaine became popular in the United States in the 1970s that production exploded. Today, consumption in places like the US remains a major driver of the narco economy. Far from the remote jungles of South America, it's easy for end users to be unaware of the environmental destruction to which they are contributing. 